Hi everyone, this is Chainfire9001 here, and welcome. We are going to be doing a short tutorial on Lunar Magic. I realize I haven't posted much recently. Uh, I'm gearing up for a very intense weekend this coming weekend, so I didn't really want to start a ROM hack. And I thought it'd be nice to share uh, Lunar Magic with you guys, because I think it's really cool, and also in case you're wondering how people make some of the things you see on YouTube. So the first thing you're going to need is a copy of Lunar Magic, and the way you get that is you go to smwcentral.net, I'm already here, and if you look on the right there's a menu and there's a tools section, so you click on that and you'll get to this page. And if you just scroll down among these tools you'll see Lunar Magic. All of these tools are stuff related to ROM hacking for Super Mario World. So once you have that, you need to get a clean Super Mario World ROM. Now I can't give you ROMs, I can't distribute them, you're not supposed to, technically. Uh, all I can say is go on Google, look for SNES ROMs, or even type in Super Mario World ROM and, you know, find it yourself. That's how I got it. That's how everyone gets it. So once you have that, you can start editing. Now this is, this here is my Lunar Magic folder. I've made a folder called Tutorial, so I'm going to copy my Super Mario World ROM, put that in here, and I'm gonna rename it tutorial just so that I know what it is. Very important when you rename your ROM hacks that you leave the .smc at the very end. If I can spell this correctly, yeah. Leave the .smc at the end, that's important. You need that extension in order to edit, the, edit it in Lunar Magic. So we're gonna open tutorial like that. First thing you'll see is level 105. This is uh, the first level of the game, Yoshi's Island 1. Um, one important thing, numbers in Lunar Magic, this is a hexadecimal number. It's not a decimal number, it's hexadecimal. That's base 16. Normal numbering system is uh, digits 0 through 9, so it's base 10. Hexadecimal, base 16, means you have digits 0 through 9, and then A through F. A through F being digits representing the values of 10, 11, 12, so on, up through 15. So before we actually edit anything, uh, let's let's go through some of the buttons on the toolbar. There's these three but there are these four buttons in the first group: open ROM, open files, open a level number. You can click on open a level number and insert any number from 00, 00 to 1FF. Again, this is hexadecimal. So if I open 24, I get this. If I open um, you know 1BF, I get that. You know whatever. Let's go back to 105. Uh, the fourth button is save. In the next group, well, we're going to cover that in a minute, so we'll skip that group of three. This group of two here, um, what I'd like to do is, what I like to do is, I'm going to click both of these two, and I get these two little smaller windows, and I like to move them down here in this black area. So what are these two windows? The first one is an add objects window, and this shows you objects that you can put into your level. So first, you'll see, well, there's a preview pane, and then there's a drop box, and then there's a list. So in this category, standard objects, you'll see things that go in pretty much any level. There's coins, there's, uh, you know, turn blocks, piranha plants, gray cement blocks, pipes, you know, slope tiles, land tiles, bullet machines, whatever. All this kind of stuff. Some of these look a little glitchy. That's, you know, we'll get to that in a minute. Tile set specific objects contain objects that are uh, directly related to the foreground um, tile set. Again, we'll cover that a bit later, and you'll notice that some of these look glitchy as well. Don't worry too much about that. Extended objects has even more stuff like doors and 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 you know moons and stuff. Turn blocks and question blocks with just about every item imaginable. Whatever. Some of those will look glitchy as well. Last thing is direct map 16 access. This contains the tiles, the individual tiles that make up the objects you saw in the previous categories. I'm not really going to do much with that today, so don't worry about it too much. Add sprites window is very similar. First you've got standard sprites, which belong in pretty much any level. There's Koopas, there's Goombas, keys, keyholes, Yoshis, power switches, springboards, whatever. Tile set specific sprites contains, you know, all the enemies and things that you normally see. You'll notice that a large majority of these things are glitchy. They do not look proper. Again, we're going to cover that in a minute. 
Special commands and generators. This contains, um, well, generators are things that produce sprites automatically, like bullet bill shooters and torpedo launchers. Special commands are things that, well, for example, the, when you see auto scroll levels, that's a special command. When you see um, objects moving back and forth or up and down, that's done through special commands. Anyway, you know, we'll cover that some other time probably. So now we can actually start editing. Um, go back up to the toolbar and you'll see that that second group of buttons with three buttons the first buttons already pressed and if you mouse over it it says layer one editing mode that lets you edit objects and objects only the second one is layer two editing mode we're not really going to deal with that today third one is sprite editing mode that lets you edit sprites and sprites only so right now we're going to edit with objects it takes a little while to get used to the interface there's a knack to it um, to move an object, you just highlight it and you click and drag it. You can select multiples, you know, like this. Just ma you know, make a rectangle. To delete, you press the de you highlight it and press the delete key. To insert, you would go to the Add Objects window, find whatever object you want. Let's say gray cement blocks, and go into your level and you right click, and that gives you gray cement blocks. You can move these around. You can resize them, like that or just horizontally or just vertically. Not all objects can be resized both horizontally horizontally and vertically. And also you'll notice that there is sort of a limit to how far they can go. So let's delete that. We don't need that. One important thing, if you highlight something in the level, an object, and you have a different object selected in the window here, when you right click it will make a copy of the highlighted object. It will not insert the selected object. So that's very important. So let's delete that extra Yoshi coin. Uh, with sprites it's the exact same thing. So if I want to insert this Koopa, I'll right click. If I want to delete this Rex, I'll delete. If I want to copy this Rex, I'll highlight it and right click. You know, things like that. You know, move it around, whatever. So uh, basically I'm going to delete all the objects and all the sprites on this level so that I can start fresh. Now you can literally highlight everything manually and do that, or you can press, you can hold Control and press Delete, and it'll say, "Do you really want to delete all objects, sprites, and exit in this level?" I'll say, "OK," and since we've done that, I'll save. So now we can start adding stuff. So let's go into Standard Objects. And it's good to start with some land tiles of some kind. So let's make a ledge. Yes, it's a high ledge. I'm doing that on purpose. Let's see. Uh, we'll make a lower one here. We'll make like a pit, sort of, that Mario can go down. Now, it's not recommended that you leave your land tiles looking like this. By the way, uh, let me get rid of that. It's not recommended that you leave your land tiles looking ugly like that. Uh, you can use some of the things in here. Let's find one like this tile, or excuse me, this object. So that looks a lot better. And then to fill in this white space here, oops, we go up, walk through dirt is basically just some filler. One thing to be wary of, uh, if you have an object here and you go like this, you'll notice that it starts poking in from the top on the next screen if you push it down too far, so just kind of watch out for that. So let's line this up. And um, I'm basically just going to start adding stuff. So I guess just sit tight, enjoy. And we'll try to do something interesting with this. One thing I should mention is that the bottom row of Lunar Magic is not visible in game. The screen will not scroll that low. So if you're putting something like blocks or ledges down there for Mario to walk on, He'll be able to stand on them, but you'll never see them, so try to avoid that. Something like that. Now here's a good opportunity for me to uh, show you the Map 16 pages again. So this is the fourth category in the Objects window. If I go to the second page here, we can insert these uh, purple triangles directly, like that. Well, not like that. Like that. Now you have to be careful about these things because I know for a fact that this triangle will not work if I insert it like that 
And the reason is this. If I go to Extended Objects and find that same little purple triangle, doo -doo 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 -doo, you will see that it actually has something underneath it. So you have to be careful when inserting directly from Max, Map 16 that you don't leave out something important like that. So uh, basically, I'm just going to keep editing stuff, and when we start the next video, I'll start adding in sprites and things. So I'm just going to throw some objects in here, and, and then we'll come back.